hello everyone and welcome to another f1 manager 2023 video today i'll show you how to use and install the database editor for this game it's a very useful tool where you can transfer drivers from one team to another edit their stats change their growth rate aggression and of course have a new feature which is the new custom calendar to start off you need to either make a fresh save or you can use the existing save now in this save as you can see i have edited hamilton to 94 russell to 95 and stuff like that so first things first uh, you also need to make a backup of your save because if you don't the save file may get corrupt to do your backup you simply just have to save again over here i have saved once this is the original one and this is the backup and remember that the autosave file does not work so if you think that the autosave file will work no it won't and another thing to remember is that make sure you're not in the middle of a race weekend like say in just after practice or qualifying or before race no no such stuff like that because if you do manage to edit a save where you are in between a race weekend and when you load up that edited save the save file will get corrupt and you'll just be shown a blank screen it won't work like that so the yeah, work with the game for now is done the next step is github yes the website where the author has uploaded the entire file to download the file you simply have to click on code and download zip the zip will get downloaded after you download the zip file, you just have to extract it from your downloads and this is what you'll get. Now I, I have copied a few save files over here which I'll show later on. Now to complete the entire downloading process is uh, downloading Python from these links and downloading Node JavaScript. These are very essential. If you don't download them, of course, you will not be able to run the database editor. Now to download Python, there's an important step. You have to check the box which says add Python to the path system. If you do not check this, the database editor will not work. It may fail to connect. There are a few additional softwares which you can download should you choose to have the ability to easily update the save file like GitHub is recommended. Uh, GitHub is highly recommended and also Git is recommended if you but that is only if you want to auto update well not auto update just easily update the entire save file thing me personally I don't use that even though I have downloaded Git and GitHub because these are just useful softwares and but me personally I just go to this website click on code and download zip there's also this reddit post where the author will post about whenever there's a new release and but github is much more helpful if you have any doubts just post on github there's the issues section and there's a new thing which is uh, engine editing so according to the author himself there's a new update coming 1.4 which would be about added engine stats and i personally cannot wait for that now I have downloaded Python over here as you can see here. yes Python now I also have it installed so I cannot install it again I can't even do anything with that and then there's uh, node JavaScript as well which also I have installed you can install it wherever you want but um, C drive is recommended next step is to locate your save file for those who don't know where your save file is located on windows you have to go to your c drive users username and then it's app data local fund manager 23 saved and save games 
here you'll see all the save files that you made it saves zero save to you usually the nomenclature of the save files is just save and the number do not select the auto save because that version that save file format is not supported so of course don't rely on your auto save i'll repeat do not repeat on your auto save have a original and a backup Now that you know where your save files are, you simply have to copy them to this downloaded, extracted zip file. It, it will be called database editor release. When you copy the save files, the author does recommend you to clone it, clone the entire thing. It's not compulsory, but it's just recommended that you clone the thing via. But you can only clone the thing if you have Git installed and GitHub as well. After that, simply run the visual script file which is the database editor there's a readme file as well if you have any problems or any you know what do you call it doubts yes when the uh, editor loads up it will display this message connected successfully if it does not display that message it will display something like fail to connect with backend when it shows that you just have to well either reinstall python and yes one thing i forgot to mention is that after everything is done like downloading python installing python downloading the javascript and installing it i recommend you to restart your machine restart your laptop pc whatever you have because it did not work with me the this file was not opening for some reason so i would recommend you to restart and when the save files that you have copied to this folder you can simply select them for example save zero private transfers, edit stats, custom calendar. For example, we can transfer say Max Verstappen to Ferrari. But for that first thing, first thing that we have to do is, well, we have to make Carlos and Then Max Verstappen will go over here. You can set his salary, anything you want. If you don't want to do that, you can also check this box over here, which is auto contract. Now his salary, I'm not sure. I think it is around 25 million, but in the game it's not that high i think it's around 2.5 million or something like that i'm not sure i'm just giving it a rough estimate so that's yeah that's 2.5 say till 2027 and signing bonus anything you want maybe a million maybe 5 million yes maybe 5 million and raise bonus of course to keep it realistic zero one only when he wins he's gonna get like say two and a half million now, of course, since you just can't kick Carlos, I mean, you can kick Carlos Sainz off the grid, but I'm just keeping it realistic. You have to go to free drivers, and at the end, you'll see Carlos Sainz. Yes. Let's drag him over here. I'm just going to reduce his salary to, say, 1.5. Just basically half it. Keeping it realistic, you know. And just to get on the podium. I've transferred Carlos, I've basically swapped Max Verstappen and Carlos Sainz and I'll edit their stats as well. Let's say Max Verstappen is 90, Max Verstappen is 93 is fine. Let's say Carlos Sainz is, wait, but since I'm managing Mercedes, I have changed Hamilton's growth rate to 96. You can check that. And let's say Verstappen as well. I don't know. Let's do Sainz. I don't know. Any driver, any driver, anything, any stat. Say 99, 99, 99, 99. Uh, obviously, this is very unrealistic, but well, just to demonstrate. So, I think this much is fine. You can change his growth. I don't think you can do this negatively, can you? Can, but I don't think it will work. Let's just give it a two. Save changes. Custom calendar as well. We all know what sprint weekends are. ETA quali is basically the new format of qualification which was introduced i think in hungary or was it a malav i'm not sure so basically that format includes hards for q1 mediums for q2 and softs for q3 um, since i think in this year i'm not sure which, which race is the next one i think it's austria so i'm not going to change austria just to play it safe let's swap hungary and britain let's swap UAE and Brazil, I mean Brazil is the last race. I think you can, well, I think you can, and weather's off. 
I want cut that off and well I think that's about it right and we can have say yeah you can check any yeah you can only check one of these of course because the other format will not work Let's say Brazil is um, Sprint and no Great Britain is Sprint and say uh, Belgium not Brazil Belgium is ATA. Everything is done. You just have to click Save Changes. Edit Stats. Everything is saved, right? Yeah, Save Changes and Driver Transfers. Everything is done. Now that you are done with it yeah you can you 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 have to well um, copy the save zero file that we just edited to the save game file folder and one thing we can try in fact this is not something i have tried before as well let's rename this to say save three i think it should work so this way you may not have to make a backup because basically this will be like a new save file it will go into a new save file slot let's see if this works just copy this to this uh, CA game file folder. Okay, just refresh and it load up the game. See what happens. As you can see over here, it has created a new save slot. The timing has obviously changed 2108. So let's load this up and see if the changes we have made are visible. Uh, we did edit signs to like 90 something I think was 95 94 signs is 95 and he drives for Red Bull now Max is at well he's at Ferrari good luck to him winning a championship and oh yes Hamilton's growth rate right I think it was 96 so uh, yep uh, wait where is that great affinity performance aggression is average I kind of forgot where it's seen the development thing development rate sorry oh yes development rate high over here I completely missed it so yeah 96 is well super high PS3 is um, 90 no it's not 90 it's like 85 I think PS3 let's just check no, I can't go from here Wow, this this doesn't work like motorsport. I always forget. You just gonna click on the team and expect uh, that the drivers will load up as well and the staff. Yeah, PS3 is 81. The circuit things, yes. So, yeah, have they changed? The last race should be Brazil. Yep. Vegas is completely off. It's, it's like completely gone. Belgium, it's ATA qualifying like we did, and Great Britain is sprint. So that's wonderful. Personally. It it is a superb editor. It works very well with everything, and it works with existing saves. It works with um, new saves, obviously. And you should try the new trick, which I just found out. You you just have to rename once you copy your save files to your uh, to the database release folder. You simply have to rename it. So that way you don't have to make a backup. But do not forget to rename it, and it has to be like save three, save four, save five, something like that and don't name it something absurd so save file and you have to copy that save file to the save game folder and yeah that will create a new save slot this which is good yeah i think it is very good so yeah thanks for watching and this was my first time doing a voiceover on, on my videos so this took like a week this is like my <laughs> 17th attempt and uh, thank you for all the support i hope this really helps if there are any questions doubts just feel free to ask in the comments thank you